Hello, family. I'm uh, I'm training and doing laundry today. Just uh, I don't know why. I don't know how I got into it, to this, but somebody has to do it. Oh.
I'm going to read a Matthew chapter 23. I was reading it earlier and uh, just right now. And uh, since I'm training over here to uh, do the blankets for a homeless shelter, for those that don't have a place to go home, and I was, uh, that's my. Uh, my calling today to uh, do blankets, praise the Lord. I was kind of uh, like, you know, but uh, we shouldn't uh, never ever, you know, grow weary on doing uh, what's right. We shouldn't ever ever grow weary of just doing what uh, we're called to do because uh, it's for our own good and, you know, people. Uh, need this blanket clean and uh, they need a place to stay and God is good so chapter 23 then Jesus spoke to the multitude they just spoke to the multitude and to his disciples saying the scribes and the Pharisees in Moses uh, Pharisees sit in Moses seat therefore whatever they tell you to observe that observe and do but do not do according to their works for they say and do not do for they bind heavy burdens hard to bear and lay and lay them on men's shoulders but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers but all their work they do to be seen by men they make their phylacteries collectories broad and enlarged the borders of their garments excuse me I gotta pull up uh, number six so I'm gonna record this so I can remember uh, this next time because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing it uh, more often you know Yes, it's fun.
So I am number six, chapter Matthew 23, chapter six. I mean, chapter 23, verse six. They love the best places at the feast, at feast, the best seats in the synagogues, greetings in the marketplaces, and to be called by men, Rabbi, Rabbi, but you do not. But you do not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, the Christ, and you are all Breton. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. And do not be called teachers, for one is your teacher, the Christ. But he who is greatest among you should be your servant, and whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. But woe to you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For your, for you, neighbor, go in yourselves, nor do you allow those who are entering to go in. Woe to you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers, therefore you will receive greater condemnation. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you travel land and sea to win one proselyte, and when he is one, you make him twice as much as uh, make him twice as much a son of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guide! guides who say whoever swears by the temple it is nothing but but whoever swears by the gold of the temple he is obligated to perform it fools fools and blind for which is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold and whoever swears by the altar, it is nothing. But whoever swears by the gift, it is on it, he is obligated to perform it. Fools and blind, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that sacrifices the gift. Therefore, therefore, he who swears by the altar, swears by it and by all things on it. He who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And he who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits on it. Woe to you, Christ and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done without leaving the other, the others undone. Blind guides who strain out a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you cleanse the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of extortion and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisees first cleanse the inside of the cup and dish that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs which indeed appear beautiful outward, outwardly, but inside are full of dead men bones and all uncleanness. Even so, you also outwardly appear here righteous to men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Is there still more bags over there? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. How many? Uh, about four, five, oh, six, okay. something like that. All right, I'll get them. Well, let me show you where the garbage goes. Okay. It's a little chilly out there. Oh, it's over there? Go outside.
And this is my jacket. Now, I know you asked Joe, and he gave you the official line that you can't do your laundry. Oh. The unofficial line is what you do is you put your dirty laundry and wrap your blankets around it so nobody can see that it's yeah. laundry. Nobody comes in here and checks what you're washing. Okay? Yeah. And then when you're done, you do the same thing. You wrap the blankets around yeah. it. Alex told me that this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him at the, at the breakfast this morning at the St. Luke's breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, and I told me, uh, yeah, this too. Yeah, you know, as long as nobody, and no, you know, the sheriff person will come in at one point. And all they do is check to make sure we got pens, tape, and bags. And that's the only time they come in here. They don't look. They don't look. Check and see how it's doing. Yeah, I'm going to move some of those in here while you take care of that. Yeah, because I went to do my uh, my laundry this morning. I got up at uh, 5 in the morning, so that place uh, I go, it opens at 6. And I did my laundry this morning. Uh-huh. Yeah, I checked it into the front desk. I have it with me. So that's good. That way I... Yeah, you can save the trouble of getting up extra early. Yeah. Now, we do not wash pillows. Okay. Some of the guys will send their pillows here. Don't wash them. Send them back, right? Yeah. Wash the pillowcases, wash the sheets. But, and if you do, if they smell really, really bad, and it's not at the end, you can wash a regular pillow. But it'll have to go through the dryer twice to dry it. So, every once in a while, yeah, you can, uh, wash your pillow, but usually don't unless it's really starting to stink. Uh, and report it to the no, EC, no? No, 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 no. Because they shouldn't put stuff that you don't, uh, no? No. no. And it's just like if you're doing your laundry, uh. hide the pillow uh. inside your blankets so nobody will know. Uh. Alright? <laughs> And I think they made that rule because the women's shelter, these broads would have two, three pillows each. And so the guy who carries the, um, the blankets has so much more to carry than the women. But if they don't, plus the fact it takes so long to dry. Let's get back. Uh, well, family, I'm uh, just go ahead and uh, read uh, chapter uh, 23. You know, I was reading earlier, and I was just uh, being led by other scriptures in uh, chapter 24. You know, and uh, like on uh, chapter 24.
chapter uh, verse 13 but he who endures to the end shall be saved I mean chapter 24 it's an awesome chapter as well and uh, I was reading uh, John I've just been led uh, different uh, places on uh, the word of God and uh, I'm actually going over Job going over Job uh, again and I need a refreshment on that so I'm on chapter 21 right now and just reading it and uh, just praise the Lord so I'm just gonna leave it right there and guess I got work to do I'm gonna be here about maybe six hours I got a a lot of blankets to do so So God bless you, family. Love you. How much I made last year? Disability. I'm a rich man. Praise the Lord. This is how much I made last year. Uh, the other part for that the chapter 23 that I just read the reason I uh, wanted to uh, share this chapter like this world is full of Pharisees and uh, scribes and uh, hip hypocrisy so this chapter right here chapter 23 you know, just talks about how the Pharisees put burdens on so many, you know, and themselves, uh, their religious um, self-proclaiming uh, people, you know, didn't do those things, you know, like before I used to go to church and um, just a lot of these uh, churches, you know, they're uh, professing uh, just like the Pharisees, you know, they tell, they preach on this, this and that. But, but but them themselves are not willing to uh, to follow you know before I used to go to church I went to the church for five years and uh, I reached out to them you know try to get out of the streets and uh, they have this apartment complex across the street so I told them about it if I could get housing because two people that I knew they uh, they, they, and they had housing there before but then those guys they um, they fell into the world again and uh, and left, actually left that service, period. So I tried to ask them for help and uh, they didn't help me. They said that that was for disabled and uh, seniors. So I told them oh, I got a disability, so they gave me another excuse. And then uh, there's this guy that had a band parking in, uh, in the parking lot of the church. And uh, that guy smokes a lot and you know, it's just, uh, you know, not rude in the word, so God bless him, and uh, I try to, I, I asked him for help, if I, I told him if I could get a van, if I could park it in their parking lot, and they told me no, that they didn't want that, you know, they didn't want that to become a, a place like that, so I got turned down again, and then, um, one time when I was going to do ministry, uh, you know, to another state, I told them if I could get a right to pick up my stuff to put it uh, in another place, and they told me no, that they didn't have time. 
so like three weeks ago when I asked him uh, to speak to that pastor, left a message, uh, they just ignored me completely. So yeah, they're, uh, they're Pharisees, hypocrisy, they don't, they're not willing to, uh, to do, to be doers of what they preach because they're preaching this false watered down doctrine, you know, that they want people to, they want to tell people what to do, you know, but then them themselves are not willing to follow this because we ought to be doers of the word, not just hearers only deceiving ourselves since the, the time, the days that we're living on, so. Oh no, 1 John 3, 17 to 19, it says, but whoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And by these we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. Amen. So that's why I wanted to make this video about, uh, well, I'm here, you know, I'm not bragging about it, I'm enjoying it. It's a blessing to, to watch the, the clothes. It's fun, huh? Sister, it's it's good? What? It is? You like it? What? It's pretty easy, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm just making a video because, I mean, a lot of people don't want to... I want to do this, you know, and it's not hard. No, it's just time consuming. It's yeah. Time to your day. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like, I don't know why people don't want to do it. Because there's so many chores that just take a very short amount of their time. Yeah, but they got to let it do it. Just walk up down the streets. Yeah. They still rather do that. So I'm gonna cut it right here and just keep us in prayer. Keep keep me in prayers and I hope that this encourage somebody out there and you know uh, let's be doers of the word, not hearers only. Let's not be Pharisees or uh, Sadducees and uh, just you know just be uh, religious, but be a uh, doers and be in a relationship in a solid relationship with Christ and live as Christ lived. Follow and obey Him and uh, just trust in Him. Just follow His footsteps, you know, how when He came, you know, being God in the flesh, He didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give His life, to give His life as a ransom for our sins, for us to have a way to come into the kingdom of, of God, for there's no greater love than this, then than want to lay his life for his friend and uh, we're not uh, a lot of these places you know are not even willing to give you a ride or just help you in any way you know and a lot of people tell me what church do you go to what church do you go to well unfortunately i don't go to no church right now because we are the church we are to be the church he's coming for for us not for those buildings that are not willing to uh deny themselves and pick up the cross and follow up the Christ just like the example that he left us and uh, so this is very 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 powerful right here we have to obey it you know and follow it not just read it as a book it's a it's a bible it's a word of God and it's alive and it's it's just amazing okay brothers and sisters God bless you and have a blessed day